Welcome Virgos. I'm back y'all with another video. This is going to be for the remainder of February. So y'all come on and tune in. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Y'all go ahead and smash the like button. All right, go ahead as well. Share with your family and your friends if this message resonates with you. Go ahead and leave a comment for me. All right, so this is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, um, sun, moon, rising, north node, south node, um, so if you have Virgo anywhere in the area of your chart, you can utilize this video. As well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, all that information is in the drop box below. Um, if you're interested as well, guys, check out my website, guys. I have lots of, I have lots of, um, lots of new items over there. I got the body butters over there as well. I also have the spiritual pieces, the protection pieces. I got intention oils that are handmade by me. All right. So all of that stuff, guys, check out the website. All that's going to be in the drop box below. All right. So let's see what messages we get for the Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? All right, I'm gonna shuffle up a couple, a few more times, then we gonna jump into it. Virgo. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. We got the Ten of Swords here as well, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys may be going through some type of shift, okay? There may be some type of shift. You guys may be going through some type of shift. Let's see what's going on. We got the Nine of Pentacles, all right? The Knight of Pentacles, Star. King of Cups, Hierophant, Knight of Swords, The Magician, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. All right, so I'm getting like... With the star and the nine of pentacles here. Let's see. Why is the star card here? Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. I got Taurus energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra. I got all the signs. All of their energy is here. Okay, so let's see. We got the star card here. Two of Swords. What is this? Okay. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. But this is also really cold energy as well. You may, um, I feel like you're uncertain. You're unsure about something. There's something about... You don't want somebody to find out something here. Now we got the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting like some type of hidden secret here. You don't want somebody to find out. Four of Cups, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess, Queen of Cups. I'm picking up on Pisces. It's energy. A Pisces could be involved. It's something about your your past and about making a final decision. Okay. Why well, is the two of swords here? Yeah, 
Yeah, the high priestess. You don't want somebody to know something. It's something about your relationship. Okay, so you don't want you don't want somebody in your business. You don't want somebody to know about your money with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, your relationship, Ten of Pentacles. This could even be a marriage or this is a living situation. Um I'm getting just like a, di a family dynamic, okay? So you're trying to stay to yourself with the Nine of Pentacles here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Sun. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you are, that's your happy place. I feel like y'all are happy. I do feel that. I do feel like y'all are trying to remain happy with that sun card here. I feel like at any given moment, you you can cut this person off or you can cut this situation off. Like you don't want it to mess with your happiness, okay? You're not allowing it to mess with your happiness. I'm getting like your energy is like really happy. Like you're, you're I'm getting growth. Especially with the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. I'm getting lots of growth. Okay, we got the lovers. It could be Gemini's energy, but I'm just getting like you're loving on yourself more. I'm getting self-love. Okay? I'm getting that you're practicing self-love. Like you're really practicing it. Maybe it didn't work or you felt like you, you weren't sure if this was uh, going to work or if somebody is plotting against you. It's, I'm getting like, it's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Knight of Pentacles energy here. That I'm getting like you're practicing. Okay, we got the moon here. And the hermit. You guys, it's energy. But I'm getting shadow work. Some of y'all are doing shadow work. Some of y'all are going deep within. You're learning how to love yourself. Um, I feel like you're not allowing other people to penetrate your vibe at all. Now, we got the King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, and the Strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo. I'm getting like this burst of confidence. Like you feel really confident. I'm just getting like you feel extremely confident. Like you're feeling good. You're feeling confident. You're feeling outgoing. Yeah, the two of wands. Okay, so you feel like you, I feel like, okay, yeah. See, you want balance. You want peace. Um, Like I said, you're not, you're not letting any outside energy mess up anything that you got going on i feel like you guys are trying to find balance you want balance you want peace um and like i said a lot of you are doing shadow work okay you've learning you're learning more about yourself why is the two of wands here yeah so when some type of truth uh, or some type of something comes towards you, I feel like I'm getting a lot of growth. I'm getting a lot of growth. Lots of growth. Like maybe you were stuck or felt like something was complicated or something was, uh, I'm getting like a back and forth juggle here. But I'm getting also that you, you're accepting the truth about something. Yeah. Okay. The four of wands. <clears throat> the four of wands, I'm getting stability. Home life. You've, you're accepting something about yourself. You're learning yourself. This is beautiful. We got the world. I'm getting very private. Like you're very private. You're being very private. I'm 
we got the tower here um in the past okay and the hierophant you could be dealing with the taurus or a scorpio but i'm getting that there is this uh ace of pentacles and the emperor now the emperor is aries it's energy but this is also like the father card okay this is the older you may be dealing with someone who's a little older than you a lot older than you um i'm getting like sugar daddy vibes or something like that why is the tower here The hierophant is doing things the right way. Um, ooh, the seven of swords. Okay, so, uh, uh, gosh. Then we got the knight of wands and the queen of wands. These two energies together give me, like, player vibes. And then with that seven of swords here. So, there was a tower moment here. You may have found something out. But I feel like you have grown so much you've learned more about yourself you've done the shadow work on yourself that is not affecting you as it normally would okay i'm definitely seeing that why is the seven of swords here Yeah, you got some news. Some news came in. Queen of Pentacles, you guys, it's energy. Some news came in. Somebody here is having to defend themselves, okay? There's some confusion going on. Somebody had to cut off an option, okay? We got that Ten of Swords and pressing forward, okay? Pressing forward after somebody else. See, you're tired of all of this energy, this negative energy bitter energy here you're putting you finally put something to rest okay for some it's a third party for some it's just some pain some heartache and pain that is from the past that i feel like you're trying to heal you are healing some of you have already healed okay you're taking new you're going on a new journey a new beginning Okay, we got the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So maybe you're spying on someone. Could be um, Le a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, younger type energy. We got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why are you spying? What's going on with this spying? Why is the Page of Swords here? I feel like you see something coming. I'm said that as well too. Like you see something coming or someone coming towards you. Why's the page of swords here? Yeah, the devil. Could be a Capricorn. It's like you could just feel someone's energy. Like you could just feel them coming. Okay. Now, with this Three of Cups and the Page of Wands, there is possibly friends or people that you're connected to. May Someone may reach out to you or someone's waiting on a conversation or you're waiting for this conversation to come up. It's like you can feel it coming. You can feel this energy coming towards you. I don't know if it's a good energy, especially with that devil here. Ooh, the six, the six of Swords, okay? And then we got the King of Pentacles and the Judgment and the Six of Cups here. It's like you're moving on from something toxic. It's just like you can see things coming. It's like you got tunnel vision or something. Like you can see this coming. You're trying to avoid or block out this negative energy, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting here. Why is the Six of Swords coming? I'm sorry, why is the Six of Swords here? The Ten of Wands. You're definitely dropping something. You may have given someone a lot of chances here.
three of cups and the two of cups okay so i'm getting that someone here wants some uh, some uh to rekindle someone wants to rekindle something here a connection yeah because they feel lonely or they feel left out in the cold so someone is returning but you see this coming like you saw it coming already someone is returning i feel like Why is the magician here? Ooh. So you're busy manifesting. You could be manifesting money. Okay. You're in, you know, you're putting your intentions out. You're you like I said, a lot of you guys are working on yourself. Like it's about you. Other people aren't even a, aren't even really a factor. If it, is, if it isn't bringing you any peace, you don't want anything to do with it. Okay, yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are, are shifting your perspective on things. Now, how others are viewing you, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, they, somebody here is feeling like something isn't worth it to put the effort in so there's something here that's another party feels like something isn't worth it they feel like uh, this could put things on hold for you somebody here has some options and i feel like somebody wants you to tread lightly okay tread lightly Tread lightly. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Eight of Cups. Yeah. See, somebody, somebody walk, is walking away because somebody feels like something isn't worth it. This person over here, this other person, feels like something isn't worth it and they're walking away. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, they want some new energy. They're waiting for something new. A new offer. Maybe a new offer from you. Ooh, we got the Two of Pentacles. There's a decision or somebody's juggling. They want you to regret something that you said as well, too. Yeah, somebody's juggling two people here. This person is juggling. We got the two of pentacles and the queen of wands and the king of wands. Like, somebody's juggling. Now, the ace of wands is in your hopes and fears. We got the eight of pentacles here. I'm getting lots of confusion. Some of you may be afraid or you're hoping this is in your hopes and fears. This is trying something new. Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. But I don't see why this would be a fear. But some people are afraid to try new things. But I feel like you're looking for some new energy. Um, maybe you're looking for this person or someone. You're cutting off some some energy, some bad energy here, some some bad habits um, or an option is being cut off. Why is the nine of swords here? We got the nine of swords as the outcome. The chariot. Some of y'all are, are kind of nervous moving ahead. Why is the chariot here? Four of swords. Some of y'all are tired of giving to, uh, giving more than you're receiving. You may feel like there's, um, you want to find a balance, okay? You want to try to find a balance. Some of y'all are, are tired of uh, overextending. 
Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Maybe you feel like someone is starting confusion. You're uh, trying to put this confusion to rest. But I feel like you're kind of nervous about it. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ooh. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody's getting cut off. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's like if they're not talking business, you don't want to, you don't want anything to do with it. I'm just getting like y'all are y'all have uh, grown a lot. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the Four of Cups and the Empress here. You're bored or tired with something. There's that Six of Pentacles again and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So something about giving and taking. Okay. And I feel like finances have, has something to do with it as well. I feel like you want to be more in control of the situation. I'm getting that there's confusion. I'm getting that there's a, a issue possibly with money. Okay. I feel like there's an issue with someone giving more than they're uh, receiving. Like someone feels as if they're giving more and the other person is taking and not filling the cut back up as well. So if this message resonates with you guys, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all on the next video. Ciao.